Hey guys, thanks for coming back to my channel. I am Psychic Bella Love from PsychicBellaLove.com. You can book your own personal reading with me on my site and use code BELLA20 to get 20% off your first reading with me. You can also follow me on Instagram, Psychic Bella Love. So I had a little bit of time in between my next reading. So let's see, you know, we kept mentioning Storm so much that and I planned on doing my own reading on him. So I figured let's just use this quick half hour, 45 minutes, so that way we can get that one taken care of. Um, you know, since we've talked about him so much, like he keeps coming up, I just felt right to like do a reading solely on him. I wanna ask, you know, what is his complete point of view as far as the whole Jaguar right thing, Tasha K, Look at everything really completely from his perspective. Where is his channel going? What's um, in store for him in the future? So it, let's get started because I don't have a whole lot of time right now. Uh, Spirit, please join us and give us some clarity in regards to Storm Monroe. How does he truly feel about this whole entire Tasha K Jaguar right situation? What is he planning to do going forward. Drop some cards. <laughs> and how is he going to proceed in his future with his YouTube channel and his career? Now, it's so funny. You know how sometimes you get songs stuck in your head? I've had that Brandy song, What About Us, like stuck in my head for the last like week. Normally I can just go listen to the song, you know, when that happens and then listen to another one right afterwards. And that did not work, but it also kind of seems fitting, you know, that it's saying there, what about all of the things that you said? <laughs> what about all of the lies that you said? <laughs> it's like, uh, maybe that is Storm's mood right now. <laughs> What about all the promises that you made? <laughs> what about us? <laughs> ah, gotta laugh to keep from crying, guys. <laughs> so, let's see what Spirit has to say about Storm. And sorry, I said the rest of my little message to Spirit while in my head quietly while I was picking up those uh, cards that fell on the ground. But thank you once again to Spirit for coming through, for blessing everybody that we ask about, as well as everybody who watches these videos. Thank you for an abundance of blessings, protection, all that good stuff, right? And make sure you guys um, subscribe to Psychic Crane V. She is on uh, Tracy Brown's panel show every Saturday with us with Lamar Townsend. I love Carlene. She is extremely, extremely talented. She's just like the nicest, sweetest, like best person ever. You know, some people just have like something about them that's just so amazing. And you're just like, you're just such a good person. That's Carlene. And she definitely is an amazing, amazing reader. She's been uploading to her channel a lot as well as so I just wanted to give her a shout out. And of course, Tracy Brown and Lamar Townsend as well. I love Lamar. And Tracy is somebody that I definitely look up to and admire because she is the mother of the YouTube psychics, right? So, well, <laughs> I asked this one. I was like, let's focus this on how is Storm currently feeling, you know, towards Tasha, this whole entire situation, the way that things are going. He sees Tasha as queen of coins, you know, in the other decks, this would be the queen of pentacles. I'm all about my money. I'm focused on my future. Everything's about my business. Like where can I, you know, expand and everything. But of course, he felt very blindsided with the two of swords over what happened. I don't get that there was actually a whole lot of conversation between the two of them in regards to this interview. I feel like maybe there was a little bit of a mention from her end, but it was more so 
him talking to Jaguar about the fact that she was going to interview with Tasha than he was talking to Tasha about things. Of course, she told him, oh, no, I'm just going to, you know, do the personal side of things the way that she was touting this interview to be. She was telling Storm those same things. Now, he is showing up as the emperor within his own spread, which is good because he feels like he's in charge of things. He is followed by the world card in this spread after showing up as the emperor. So he's definitely trying to control, you know, the way that things go for him. Um, and he also has the Ace of Swords following that. So it's like, he actually feels like this isn't the first time that he's worked under somebody that's sort of done something shady to him or put him in some kind of a situation in that sense, but he doesn't obviously like it. Like, you know, just because you've gone through something bad before doesn't mean that you're like, yeah, I love this. It just means I've already been here, done that. I know, I know that, you know, I'm just going to chalk it up to the game, even though it does hurt my feelings, even though it does make me feel a type of way towards you. But I also get that that's how people do things. You know, it's a business when it comes down to it. Doesn't mean it doesn't hurt, but it is still business. So it's like walking into this situation of working with her, he'd heard all the warnings, he'd heard all this stuff, and he made it a decision in the back of his head that he would play nice with Tasha, but he would always try to maintain control of his own stuff on his end. Like, I'm not gonna let you push me into doing the same kind of content that you do. I'll take your advice. Like, if you tell me these are the kinds of videos that I've seen, you know, the most success with, the most views with, whatever. But if I feel like that doesn't match me and I'm not gonna be able to pull that off, I'm not gonna do that either. So he, you know, at least feels like he, up until this point, has maintained a solid boundary when it comes to their situation. Um, and we do have, you know, the current situation coming up with the Justice card followed by the Ten of Coins. He is profiting off of this because it's like, yeah, you backstabbed me, but you backstabbed yourself because I ended up getting, you know, karma in the right direction for me. Things worked out better for me, even though you probably thought in your head something else was going to take place because... This is the thing with the Page of Wands and the Four of Swords. He very much does think that Tasha was trying to sabotage him. Not just, okay, you wanted to take Jaguar out, you know, but that you you also were trying to sabotage me, Tasha. Like, you can say you weren't. You can say, no, there was no, um, you know, I wasn't doing it in a backstabbing way. I really wasn't trying to take Jaguar out. I just, for whatever reason, me and her didn't match or blah, 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 you know, whatever reasons she's giving him. But he feels like, yeah, sure, okay, I'll, I'll agree with you. I'll say, okay, I see your point of view. But really, truly behind the scenes, I know that there was some sabotage coming my way as well. Also, King of Wands, there's somebody that's telling him that Tasha purposely was trying to do this. And it's somebody that warns him before, like, Tasha will build you up to tear you down. Be very careful and separate yourself before it's too late from her. Storm didn't listen because this is somebody that already has a problem with Tasha. And now this person's circling back around and they're actually having conversations where it's like, okay, man, I see where you were at because we have the sun card. Everything is coming out all the dirt's coming to the surface. Everything is coming up. You're seeing the light. You're seeing the truth. You're seeing what was really going on in this situation. You're seeing that people were correct in telling you these things about her. And with this two of wands, it's like Storm is going to continue to be led towards the truth. Um, because of all these people that did try to warn him earlier that are now circling back around. There's also other things that are coming up where it's like, look, she did this to this person and nobody knew about it because that person never said anything because they didn't want to get bullied by her. They didn't want to be the topic of her next, you know, fuckery Friday or whatever. So we didn't, you know, this person didn't say anything. They just sort of took the L behind the scenes. 
but there is a lot of people who are going to be coming towards Storm with um, information about Tasha. The end result of that is the Three of Swords, which is like, I got myself involved in a bad deal, you know, because we're not looking at it in a romantic situation, in a business sense. I got myself in a bad deal. I signed myself to people who I shouldn't have trusted. And, you know, with that, he's also going to feel like with this Five of Swords, and the full card, I made a huge mistake and now I have to fight to defend what is mine and not just what is mine in the sense of a business place, but also like his emotional and spiritual sense. Because this did take a toll on him in an emotional sense because it's like, fuck, I thought I like didn't like have to worry about this. I thought I wasn't going to be that guy that has to be in that situation. I thought things were going to work out different for us. And now, you know, everybody's making these videos talking about how I'm the latest victim of Tasha. That's not the way that I saw myself being known on this platform. I thought I was going to get it through my own hard work, through interviews I was doing, stories I was breaking. Even if it was just me rehashing shit but being extremely entertaining about it. But I did not expect things to go down the way that they are. He's being forced into being the king of swords and he hates it. Like he hates it. This is not his comfort zone. This is not the place that he wants to be in. But with this high priestess, his intuition is kicking in. It is very strong. Also, I feel like this high priestess person is Jaguar as well. So I do feel like behind the scenes, she's talking to Storm a lot. She's in his ear telling him with this strength card that comes up behind it, you have to be strong. You've just got to ignore it. Listen, when it comes down to it, it is a good thing. You know, because to her, like we see now that, and, and she's confirmed my tea and everything from my other readings, but we see now that when she did speak on stuff, she's like, well, whatever, who cares? Like, <clears throat> I knew Tasha was, you know, going to do something. She just showed me exactly who she was working for. So I got my answer and you guys all got to see that she's still the same person. But... She is very aware that it's hurt Storm's feelings. I feel like, and we've talked about this, Jaguar has a lot of compassion towards Storm. Um, even though, you know, it, when we're looking at the interviews, she's going off, she's crying, she's upset, she's telling her stories, he's playing the straight man to that um, in the sense of like, oh, are you serious? And then what happened next? You know, just doing the interview thing. But behind the scenes, behind everything, Jaguar really does really truly care about Storm. It's like if the situation was reversed and she had the platform that Tasha has, Jaguar would have been a much better mentor towards Storm, but Jaguar has a lot of things she needs to fix on her own end before she could ever do something like that. But I'm just saying because there is that true intent of I want good things to come for you. I really, really do want to be in your corner. I feel like you're the person, you know, like a good person. And she also feels like with the Nine of Cups and the Ten of Wands, you know, they work well together. And also that Storm was the person who really gave her this opportunity to speak her truth and who put her out there in a sense to where everybody else did really start to pay attention because when the common thing happens there was a lot of people who didn't really know her or because it happened on instagram it was sort of sticking over there you know he brought her out into the world and gave more people the opportunity to know who she was what she was speaking on more than just the common situation and to provide more clarity to that situation and now people are obviously paying more attention to her on every single platform and so she, there is a lot of gratitude and mutual appreciation between the two of them for that whole thing. Now, when Storm dealing with Tasha going forwards, because here she is in the middle of this spread with the Queen of Pentacles, um, which is, again, the same card as the Queen of Coins in my other deck, and the Page of Cups and the Five of Cups, you know, before that, and then the Page of Pentacles after... He's still like, I'm trying to think of how to explain it. It's like, this situation manned me up. I fully became a man and saw through the BS, saw who I'm supposed to deal with, saw like what the truth in this whole situation. 
but I have to kind of dull that down and pretend to be that I'm still that fresh young kid, you know, that you were mentoring and that needed all this information, needed all this help and everything just to get by to get by, you know, kind of a sense. And so he's ignoring what everybody is saying or what it seems like to everybody else and just being like, no, Tasha, it's okay, it's okay. But in secret, you know, like he might get off the phone with her or leaves her house or whatever and all of a sudden that bad mood is back, he's upset, he feels emotionally disturbed and he's just not happy with the way that things have gone. Um, the Two of Cups is in reverse, so whatever contract that they do have together, it's gonna end. Um, there will be something that comes through that. I don't feel that he's actually going to have to fall and like take her to court to get out of it or that they do have to have this big old fight about it. There is something about like Tasha just sort of gives that to him only because it's like, I have too many other things to worry about right now. I got to focus on all this other stuff. I don't want me and you to be in this place where I'm fighting you too and you don't want to fight with me. So like, let's just end things how they are and we just won't acknowledge in each other anymore. And that's what's going to come of that with that whole situation ending. Then Storm feels like once again, he has this power back with the Ace of Cups, the, the Ace of Pentacles and this world card. I'm back in control. I know what I needed to do. I took what I needed to from this whole situation. I learned, I, I listened, you know, and now I am free to be my own man, do everything on my own, not have to deal with you. And we can be in an okay place, you know, with this four of wands. And it's like, we're in, him and Tasha are in an okay place. The four of wands is Storm feeling free and celebrating from that. Like, yes, I'm free, I'm, I'm out of this situation. I don't have to have that cloud hanging over my head anymore. I can just do me. So I want to ask Spirit, what is that card saying to Storm behind the scenes? What is their connection and relationship like? And then we'll ask about the future of his channel. And then I'm going to have to go and cut this one a little short. Just like I said, this is my, you know... I had a little bit of free time before I get super busy for the evenings thing. And, you know, you guys, let's, I know that there's a lot of speculation about people's personal lives, preferences, things like that, but it's not my place to ever out anybody. So that's definitely something I'm not going to look at. Everything that's gone on, you know, I know there's rumors about Tasha and her husband, and I didn't look at that either just because this is all about business. This is all about YouTube. This is all about videos and people going after each other but it's not about anybody's marriage at the end of the day you know we did get that Tasha's husband does love her and he does want to you know protect her and make sure that things are running the right way and stuff but I don't want to dig in any further you know only just because like I said it feels like it's just um not where we're supposed to be headed um okay this is really, he was very, very worried. Okay, first of all, his heart was completely broken seeing that interview, completely. He feels like, oh my effing God, I cannot believe she did that to you. She swore up and down to me that she wasn't going to. And Jaguar's like, she told me she wasn't gonna do it either, so don't worry about it. Like, she lied to everybody, I know how she is, but Storm was ready to go get into a fight behind Jaguar because he felt like this woman's been through enough. How effing dare you? Um, there was really a big inclination with the Six of Swords and this Eight of Cups of him trying to walk away from Tasha. Like he was literally going to go into fight mode and be like, 
screw you, we're done. How dare you, I'm making a video. But with this two of wands, which again comes up with Tasha's card, the queen of pentacles, looking out, being insightful, calming down, thinking about things. It was like, I don't want to fight with this queen of pentacles because is it really worth it? She has the tendency to be the five of cups where she has things going on for herself, but she's focused on what didn't work out. Me being the king of swords, I got to do this knight of wands action of I got to do things differently than the way that she does them. And you know what's funny too is like spirits chiming in to say, Jaguar actually told him like, hey, she's expecting that. She's expecting this. Like she did all of this with the intent of knowing you're going to get upset that it's not, it's going to, I'm going to look like an asshole. You're going to get upset. And she's probably prepared for a fight with you. She probably has a video already filmed queued up to go where she's discrediting you and talking about you know things you did in second grade or whatever like hit her in a way that doesn't make sense to her which is again him reclaiming his power as the emperor and with this moon card i'm gonna hide my true motives i'm not letting you see my cards I may be very emotional about this. I may be upset. I may not like it, but I am going to present myself to you as the King of Wands, just focused on my work, King of Pentacles, focused on my money. I'm not letting you know how I truly feel. I'm not going to get in this tit for tat back and forth. And so Jaguar is coming up as the Queen of Wands in this sense where she is telling him you know, let, just be quiet. Say what you gotta say, just to be like, there's no problems, don't worry, everybody's fine, everybody's an adult, they agreed to this, they can handle it. But it's like, you know, just stay quiet after that. Keep doing you, because Jaguar sees him as the magician. You can turn this around to work for your benefit, and it already is, so don't, don't, you know, throw yourself into the middle of this fire and make it worse for yourself because you're at this enviable point that she's not at because she's the one with this 10 of wands showing up as the empress of having to fix what she created, the problems that she's made. She has to fix them. Don't put yourself in that situation where you got to go behind her and do the same thing. So Jaguar feels really bad for him. It's so crazy. It's like he felt so bad for Jaguar. Like he was devastated because it came up as the eight of swords when he's looking at this, you know, when he's seeing all this coming out. And it's like, oh my God, you know, three of swords. Like I feel like I led you into the lion's den. That's not what I was trying to do. I am so, 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 so sorry. But Jaguar is just like, I knew that's what was going to happen. I wouldn't have done it if I thought, you know, that it was, I walked into that knowing full well what I was getting myself into. It's not a big deal, Storm. Like, I do not blame you. He's very much, though, like showing up as the King of Cups for Jaguar. With this Ace of Swords, they talk a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. He's actually trying to help Jaguar put together a YouTube channel, too. I know she's been posting some things on YouTube or maybe it's her Instagram and then she reposts on you. I can't remember. But he's actually like, Jaguar, we're going to get you a channel and we're going to blow it up. Like he's trying to be the Tasha K to Jaguar. Jaguar is like the hermit card, you know, is her response towards that. It's okay, Storm. Don't worry. Like things will come around as they're supposed to. You don't have to do that for me. But, you know, he has this nine of wands, eight of wands, knight of cups energy when it comes to Jaguar. I'm going to make it right. I'm going to do what I can, even though obviously what I can do is little compared to other people. But I have to make it up to you. So, but again, we just keep getting this judgment card. We were getting justice. We were getting the wheel card, you know, the hierophant. He is right, you know, honestly... 
The biggest favors that Tasha could have ever done for Storm or Jaguar was to do this interview. The worst thing that Tasha could have done for herself was this interview. She threw herself under the bus without meaning to and promoted these two way higher up than she ever thought it was going to be. So, Spirit, I just let's ask one more question and then we'll ask what's the future of his channel. I want to see, did, did Tasha intentionally try to sabotage him? Because there is this narrative going on, and I should have asked this in my Tasha uh, reading, but it relates to Storm. But there is a narrative going on that Tasha does build people up to break them down or that she has no problem helping people when it looks good for her but then the second that they start to outpace her she can't handle it and she has to go behind them and you know throw a wrench into it because it's like well you were supposed to do better but you're not supposed to do that much better like how dare you do better than me so let's see spirit to try purposely to sabotage Storm Monroe by doing this interview with Jaguar, right? And the other reason why I love Psychic Carleen so much too, you guys, is because I see that when she does her readings in the car, she grabs her deck and she just starts pulling the cards out and holding them in weird ways. And I read my cards like that too. And I was like, oh my God, somebody else who doesn't just automatically do the Celtic cross and the perfect little layout and stuff and just goes and grabs cards and reads them as intuitively as I do. So I love that. Okay. Yeah, she did. Magician. She was, she's purposely did this. You know, it... She actually, to be honest with you guys, she feels like the biggest mistake of her life was mentoring Storm. She's very jealous of the success that he's had. She, with this Nine of Cups and the Two of Wands, it's like if I could have done it over again, I wouldn't have helped you. Not because of anything that's had to do with Jaguar, of anybody else, it's jealousy because there's like something here too like well when i helped females they got a little bit but they didn't get a lot and it's like i didn't think that like i thought taking on a guy was gonna sort of be the same thing where you know you might have 500 subscribers and then you get yourself up to twenty thousand, and then you know that's sort of where you sit and everything she didn't see that coming with storm and it really did activate a lot of worry within her, a lot of, um, just a lot of like, I don't want people to like you more than me. I don't want people to want to work with you over me. And it's like, there's also something about somebody had originally contacted her not just interview wise or anything like that, although that has happened too. But I keep getting this tied around some sort of sponsorship. And it's like either she worked with this person in the past and then they like probably shut down their brand to rebrand or redo things and then came back and she was expecting that they were going to work with her. They were in talks of that. And then all of a sudden she sees their ads on Storm's channel. And that is actually what tipped her off. So she saw with the chariot this perfect opportunity. To create a tower moment for him. She really thought that she was actually truly going to discredit Jaguar and make Storm like take Storm down in the process. And she did not think that anybody was gonna come back and put it on her for doing it. She's really surprised that everybody saw through her. She really, really is. She thought that she was gonna get away with it in this sense. See this devil card? It's like, it was too much for her. She couldn't help it. She really thought things were gonna work out in her favor and you know, her outcome was the two of swords. Turned on her. She was completely blindsided. She was blindsided by his success and then she was blindsided by the fact that taking him down didn't work and it only backfired on her. 
which if you guys notice, I think that, you know, once, since Saturn has gone direct, because Saturn definitely plays a huge part in giving people their karma. If you notice, people get their karma very quickly right now. It's like, you punch somebody in the face today and tomorrow, like, your car gets stolen. You know, like, stuff like that it is happening very, very quickly. People doing things with a malicious intent, a bad, you know, vibes, whatever you want to call it. It's coming out, like, right into the open immediately. And they're not able to get away with that. And so... You know, Tracy always says destiny in the book club says 2020 equals clear vision. And I think that we were all blessed with clear vision to see right through what was going on here. So we're going to ask our question. What is coming for Storm with his YouTube channel and his life going forwards? Okay, three of cups and page of cups. Good news coming your way, Storm. I actually feel like there's a lot of really big interviews coming your way. Roseanne, Jaguar, some of these other things, those are just the tip of the iceberg for you. You definitely do have some big, big interviews coming your way. Um, there is a lot of hard work that you are gonna have to continue to put into this because I don't see you growing as quickly as you have been but that is okay as well it's like on a day-to-day -day basis is storm racking up a whole bunch of subscribers views you know people talking about him and stuff not exactly but then he does these big things with this 10 of cups that explode for him and then all of a sudden you know it's like well, I didn't. Re I got 800 subscribers in two weeks, which is great for somebody like me. You have a million subscribers or over 100,000 subscribers. That's really not that big of growth. But then I released this interview, and all of a sudden, I've got 50,000 more subscribers. Then for the next three months, I'm, I'm, you know, back to that 800 a month or whatever. And then I do another huge interview, and I got another 30, 40, 50,000 people coming my way. Um, but people are going to choose to work with you, Storm, over Tasha, um, because we have the Ace of Wands, the Chariot, and the Nine of Pentacles, so it's like the money that was gonna go to her, people who are gonna work with her is gonna be diverted to you, because they're gonna look at it as you guys have very similar audiences, they're getting the same reach with people, but they don't have to deal with the possible, well, we paid all this money for an ad and I woke up and you were canceled, you know, situation, they feel like Storm is a safer bet. Um, even though he does have less subscribers, less views overall, but, you know, it's like we'd rather work with the person that's less problematic. Um, you also have somebody coming into your love life, Storm. Um, be careful, though, because there are a lot of people coming towards you now with the situation, with you know, wanting to work with you, people who want to date you, like, it's like, you've got clout, so now here comes all the clout chasers, so you are gonna have to be very careful with this star card and the seven of cups of fake offers of people who just want to team up with you because now you have a problem with Tasha and they have a problem with her, or they want to get close to Jaguar or somebody else that you've um, interviewed or they're looking at you to be a mentor or even just wanting to date you, you know, and somehow gain something off of that. But be careful just so that way you don't get taken advantage of. You don't find yourself in a situation where it's like, well, I broke free from a Tasha in my personal life, but then, I mean, in my business life, and now I got one in my personal life. But you definitely, Storm, within, I would say, a year, like within this year period of this reading, that outcome of this lover's card is a four of wands. You guys celebrating, you being happy together. So it's actually a good relationship will come your way. I think you have a few, you know, maybe kind of bums that you got to weed out first. But then there is this person who comes along who makes you very excited about life. You're really happy with. And I do feel like he will show her on this channel and talk about it. I think it's going to be one of those things where you get the little 
oh my girlfriend, oh my girlfriend made me lunch today, oh my girlfriend bought me this shirt, and you're like, wait, Storm has a girlfriend? And then after a few months of him sort of peppering that in, then he's like, meet my girlfriend, and she like appears on one of these shows coming up. And I do feel it being a woman, I know I said I wasn't gonna out anybody, but I just kept getting like, there is a girl in his life. So I hope that that helps to bring clarity, guys. I hope that you guys have an amazing blessed weekend. Once again, I am Psychic Bella Love from PsychicBellaLove.com. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Psychic Bella Love. If you would like to book your own personal private reading with me, it is PsychicBellaLove.com. Use code BELLA20 for 20% off. And make sure you guys follow my homegirl, Psychic Carleen V. She's been commenting on my videos as well, so it's easy to find her. But I will put the exact link in the description or in the comments. Um, I'm still figuring out all this YouTube stuff, guys. But I love you so much. And make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment, share, do all the things. Have a great one. Bye.